much are you willing to pay for a cup of coffee? How about a bar of chocolate? Or what about a juicy apple? To many, these foods are part of everyday life but they could soon become a luxury, and that's all thanks to global climate change. Today, when you think of luxury food, what comes to mind? There's caviar, the pickled fish eggs of sturgeon fish, which have to be harvested by hand. A single teaspoon of some brands can cost as much as $37,000. Then there are truffles, the most expensive fungi in the world. They're known as the diamonds of the earth, and white truffles can cost up to 10,000 bucks a pound. And who can forget oysters? They may have been a cheap bar snack over 200 years ago, but overfishing has ultimately made them more scarce and therefore more of a luxury. Some can cost almost $80 a pop. The truth is top experts will argue all day over what the most luxurious food in the world is. But it all comes down to scarcity and price. And scarcity is what makes a price go up. When a certain species of fish, for example, becomes scarce, the price goes up. And that increased value gives people an incentive to fish even harder, which can lead to the species extinction. But our obsession with sourcing scarce products comes at a high price for the planet. And human-induced climate change is threatening to make some of today's food staples a thing of the past. Right now, we're in Tel Aviv's famous Carmel Market, and locals from across the city come here to buy the freshest vegetables and fruit. So if there's anybody who understands how the produce market is fluctuating, it's probably these guys. Have you been seeing the prices go up over the course of the last few years? I used to sell pomegranates like this three or four years ago for five or six shekels. Today, I have to buy these pomegranates for seven or eight shekels before I even sell them. The financial situation of my customers is also really bad. Look at this. This mango costs nine shekels. You tell me, if you have five kids at home, are you going to pay nine shekels for one mango? Who has the money for that? The weather situation has changed the produce market completely. I'm hearing from farmers that their harvest has been really low, so the price goes up. Everything that we grow here in Israel, our own country, that's what gets me so upset. To hell with the world. All we can do is hope for help. Today, chocolate and coffee are at risk of becoming expensive and inaccessible. The world's two largest producers of cocoa, which account for about 50% of the world's production, are in Africa, Ghana and the Ivory Coast. But if the global temperatures rise by just two degrees Celsius, vast swaths of land in these countries could become unsuitable for growing the crop, which means your chocolate bar could become a luxury. Multiple studies suggest that climate change could wipe out half of the land used to grow coffee around the world by 2050. It's believed that areas suitable for growing coffee in Latin America could decrease by 88% because of rising temperatures. Here in Israel, we are facing issues with climate change. Israel, from the start, is already a very dry and a very hot country. And after warm uh, winters, for example, fruit will have less fruits because fruits needs a quarter of cold hours. We have hail, we have gusts of uh, very warm and dry wind. So then we'll have even less flowers, and less flowers means less fruits afterwards. We already see that it's become more of a luxury to afford fruits. And major problem are deciduous fruits because they are the most affected by the climate change. I'm talking about apples and pears and peaches and plums. Now the weather calls for new technologies or just to go up to, to the mountains. We don't have too many mountains. Now if we want to have fresh produce, we have to adapt to the weather. And there is a need to change a bit the diet. The types of fruits that we eat, we cannot wait with it. So whether it's adjusting your diet or your lifestyle to fit the needs of our earth, you may want to start thinking more about how your actions affect the environment if you want to continue to be able to afford your favorite foods.